Roller Coaster Tycoon series is a fond memory of nearly anybody growing up with a computer in the 1990s, featuring completely customizable and buildable theme parks, a system to build your own roller coasters, and countless ways to accidentally kill off your park guests. Roller Coaster Tycoon captured the hearts and minds of young kids and adults alike. During this time period, management style games were all the rage, and Chris Sawyer hit a jackpot when he came up with the idea of Roller Coaster Tycoon. After releasing the ever-popular Transport Tycoon, Chris Sawyer sought out to make a sequel, but after he became obsessed with the roller coasters, he decided to change his code up a little bit and make a game called White Knuckle, the precursor to what would eventually become Roller Coaster Tycoon. Roller Coaster Tycoon's first version was brought to the world in the early months of 1999, earning great ratings among popular gaming websites. Despite its lack of fast-forward feature or sandbox mode, Roller Coaster Tycoon had wormed its way into the hearts of kids everywhere, and it wasn't going to back down for a while. In 2002, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 was released, which brought to the forefront new tools like a scenario editor and a sort of sandbox mode. Though not everything was fully customizable, the level of control the player had over the environments he or she created increased substantially. Unfortunately, the game did not reach the height in its ratings that its predecessor did, as fans were disappointed to learn that not much headway was made in terms of the graphics or user interface. At a normal level, the game played almost the same way and looked more or less the same as its previous version. Eventually, though, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 did take off, and it became the favored and most popular version of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Roller Coaster Tycoon is a management style game. Think something along the lines of Transport Tycoon or SimCity, except you're going to be managing a theme park. Now, um, within Roller Coaster Tycoon, you've got a set of scenarios which have their own objectives, such as have a certain number of guests in your park, or obtain a certain park value by a certain date. And in order to do this, you've got to build roller coasters. You can either do them from scratch or use pre-created um, tracks, or you can build smaller rides, such as merry-go-rounds and uh, tilt-a-whirls and things along that nature. You've also got to deal with food courts. You've got to hire handymen to clean up the vomit and water the flowers in your park. You've got to hire mechanics to repair the rides and maintain them. You've got to hire entertainers to keep people happy, and you've got to keep security guards on hand so that guests can't destroy your park while you're not looking. Now, this may seem like a lot of balls to keep in the air at the same time, but that's what really adds to the fun of the game. You can't look away from it for one second without something going wrong or something needing attention. And while this may seem difficult, it's really fun and it's really fast-paced, which is something that's hard to come by in a management-style game. It's hard to say with SimCity that, oh yeah, every minute is fun when you have a fast-forward button to rely on. Where Roller Coaster Tycoon, you don't. But even though that's a common complaint, it's not really something that people need when they get into the nitty-gritty of park design. Even though the game has a few shortcomings, it's hard to say that the game is not fun, and it's probably one of the most fun, casual experiences I've ever had. Roller Coaster Tycoon's graphics are simple, adorable, and colorful. You're restricted to an isometric view, while the graphics are generally 3D models that have been digitized and turned into sprites. Although the game may not be fully 3D, the illusion of full 3D is present and it works beautifully. That said, the game is best played on a low resolution because sprites won't get any bigger if you decide to raise your screen's resolution. Instead, you're going to be looking at a much wider, zoomed out view from which it's pretty difficult to see anything, as certain graphical elements tend to blend together at a distance. Good luck trying to build broken benches from normal ones at the resolution of a modern monitor. The music of Roller Coaster Tycoon is appropriate. There's not really any background music, but you can add music to rides within your park, which will further allow you to create a theme within the park. The music is atmospheric, and each track makes sense with the theme that it's named for. Medieval music would be perfect at a renaissance fair, the sci-fi theme would be great at Space Mountain, and the jungle theme tracks would work brilliantly in a Disney safari ride. I liked the Roller Coaster Tycoon series well before I liked any other type of management game. 
And though my review of each element may seem a little bit harsh or disapproving, the truth is that every element of the games goes together so perfectly that I wouldn't change a single thing about Roller Coaster Tycoons 1 or 2. Each of these games is a must-have that belongs on any gamer's shelf, regardless of what type of gamer he or she is.